Welcome guys, thank you for watching this video, but before we proceed, do not forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, share it to all of your friends, and also check out the description for further information guys. And now, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so welcome to today's mini tutorial, and today I will show you how to add a tower reward feature inside of our anime tower defense game right here an excuse if i sound a little bit yeah we're here today it is pretty late so it is well almost 2 a.m and i'm recording this video guys for you too yeah yeah just to <laughs> give you some kind of education regarding this topic but all right let's get started with this video so how is this supposed to work first of all we have, or we need to go inside of this tower defense script, and we need to detect when the game has ended, which is right here. Yes, yeah, so once the game has ended, our player receives its rewards. So as you can see, there is this gem reward. All right. Now, um one more thing yeah so we need to add something more if it's missing but it probably is yeah okay it is missing so um if we take a look at our lobby game right here we have an inventory data store and we need to add that inventory data store inside of our yeah tower defense game as well so let me get that one copy paste into so it, it is inside of this server script right here and we can get rid of yeah some things right here oh, we can get rid of these things get rid of this get rid of this change single sum multi summon yeah also get rid of this since these are not significant for our inventory data store and yeah these ones are significant okay so let's test this out and let's see if this inventory data store has been added and as you can see it has been added inside of here okay so how is this going to work out well it is pretty easy so a tower reward means that we receive a new tower aka we add another value inside of our tower inventory folder so as you can see our inventory consists of those values and adding another tower instead of it means to add another value instead of it which holds the name of that tower and that is basically what we are going to do so we are going to check if the player contains this tower inventory folder so find first child our inventory and if that's the case then we are going to add a random tower inside you can of course change that if you want to, but I'm going to make it random just for this video. So how is the script going to pick out a random tower? As you can see, we have this tower towers folder right here. And we can just apply a get children on it in order to receive all of these. Yeah, I'd say children or entries inside of this folder. We're just going to take the names and yeah, just say that we have picked a tower which is supposed to be um, yeah, given out as a reward. But let me just try to accomplish this idea in order to make it more clear to you. So we basically need to refer to, well, we do not even need to refer um, chosen t. So we just create a new variable and then we are going to refer to the replicated storage 
and then to towers means to that towers folder and now get children and now these these kind of brackets and yeah now we can basically just copy this one and add a math random and add this one to it and this line of code basically means that we are choosing one random name of one of those towers and yeah so that's basically what happens inside of this line so we are referring to the towers folder and then we are receiving all of the children means all of the yeah, instances right here and now we are basically choosing a random instance um, using the index and the index is a number which is being randomly set so the number goes from one to the total amount of instances inside of here and that's basically what happens so the random part is this index number which is choosing out a tower of that get children table let's say okay so we have now gotten our chosen tower so how do we proceed we can now do the following so is there a yeah there is so let's fire server this tower remote event i mean a fire client this tower remote event p rewards tower chosen tower okay so why should we fire server this one a uh, fire plant this one because uh, i also would like to add some kind of visualization so at least a viewport frame which pops up telling the player that the player has been rewarded with that tower so that's what i would like to do okay there we go there we go so this one is responsible for the reward which we are going to work on soon now to the next step which is to create an yeah int value inside of the tower inventory folder means adding a new tower to the inventory so local x instance.new int value inside of p find first child tower inventory x.name equals chosen tower and that's it so we are basically creating a new instance which is an int value and which is being put inside of our tower inventory folder aka our tower inventory and right here we are setting the towers name to the chosen tower okay and this one is about yeah visual the visualization and for those purposes we need to create a screen gui let's call this one reward gui and let's add a local script inside and this one is going to react to the fire client okay so let's let's get this one so this one refers to our remote event on client event function so this on client event is an event which reacts to fire client yeah fire clients okay bell tower okay so if val equals reward reward tower then okay so if the task is to reward within tower then we are going to yeah do so so now we need to yeah visualize this a little okay reward
All right, there we go. Now let's make this thing invisible. And let's move it inside of our, yeah, replicated storage. Okay. Now, where is it? Yeah, frame. So I would like to see how I have handled this thing. Okay, so this is about placing it. Okay, towers, wait for child, clone. Okay. Okay, okay, stats, X, okay. All right. Now I'm gonna copy this line right here. So I have uh, made a video about the script. So if you have no idea on what we have done right here, then I recommend watching that episode. All right. Now, so we are basically copying this viewport frame, which is not needed. So we can um, clone this reward frame. And where is it? X parent, crypt parent. X view port frame control disabled. All right, all right. T towers. Yes, so we basically cop, uh, clone a tower and put it inside of the viewport frame. So that is basically what happens in these lines right here. And now we gotta refer to the tower by easily replacing this with tower. Okay, okay. The parent axe. Okay. Axe viewport frame. Okay. Axe visible true. And that is supposed to happen. Okay, so how do we... So how is this going to end? When does this end? Yeah. While... Okay. So let me put this down to zero. Minus two. So after 30 seconds, I should be rewarded with something. Okay, wave ended. Yeah, nice wave. Yeah, okay. It probably is going to take 30 seconds from now on. To recognize that yeah the game is actually over and that we need to receive our reward come on so how long is it supposed to take come on come on there we go reward our zoro tower okay and that's it so we i'm not going to make this gui disappear because you usually are going to get teleported back and therefore this gui is going to vanish from itself and yeah that's it so if we take a look inside of our inventory yeah there probably um is a new zora tower so there probably is a new zora tower inside at least i hope so and yeah that's it for the video guys i hope that you have enjoyed it if so please like subscribe share this video to all of your friends also give me feedback in the comment section take care and see you in the next video also thank you for your overwhelming support guys